expected. Now President Biden says he hates the idea of slicing and dicing the agency. So will Republicans have the guts to cancel the IRS or at least reduce your taxes? Joining me now to discuss brand new fangled Wisconsin Republican congressman and retired Navy SEAL Senior Chief Derek Van Orden is back and he's sworn in. He now has to uphold the Constitution. Congressman, welcome back to the show. Well, you know what? That's only a partially correct statement. I took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America when I was 18 years old, and that never expired. I just redid it. Yeah, you did. And now you are uh, doing something quite bold. I know you were one of the Republicans, like Thomas Massey, whom we had on last night, who supported Speaker McCarthy throughout all of the rounds. And obviously, That's right. uh, this is a really big issue for the freedom-minded, and that is limiting the size of government. And that starts with how much money the government is taking, not from wealthy people, but low- and middle-income earners. So if something like this, a bill to abolish the IRS, passes in the House. Is it just one of those look busy bills because the Senate will never even take it up? Well, that could be the case. Um, I really do want to feature the fact, though, that the first bill that we passed in the 118th Congress was defunding uh, 87,000 IRS agents. And why that's so important to explain to the everyday person is that that was billed completely wrong, as it normally is from the Biden administration. They said that that is to make sure that billionaires pay their fair share of taxes. Elon Musk does not have an Etsy store. And Jeff Bezos does not sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace. You do, and I do, and our neighbors do. So in order to have the level of fidelity that they wanted to track every single American citizen's uh, digital transactions to the level of $600 annually, mm -hmm. that the type of massive uh, surveillance that the government would have to do is unacceptable. And that's why we did that, bill number one. Yeah, and that is just going to force people, instead of using things like Venmo and Zelle, to just use cold, hard cash or crypto or some other means uh, so the government isn't just snooping on every single transaction. It's pretty easy to reimburse someone for $600, especially if you're splitting something like a vacation or, you know, a graduation gift or something like that. And I don't think that the IRS should be privy to all of that information and all of that money. Um, is, is there a chance to work with Democrats in either House of Congress to at least reform the IRS, if not get rid of it entirely? Uh, you know what? I hate to say this, but I haven't run into a lot of Democrats that uh, don't want to tax everything that moves. Uh, so I really don't think that they're going to get on board of any type uh, for any type of reform of the IRS or reform of our tax code. I, I just unfortunately I don't. American citizens don't like paying taxes. I'm not encouraging people to not pay their taxes. They should pay them lawfully. Yes, absolutely. The, um, and and the, a vast majority of people do. Yes, they do. Um, they absolutely do. And so when this becomes an issue and people are upset about this and you're looking at overreaching government surveillance of American citizens, that's when it's got to stop. And that's what that bill was all about. And I'm very proud to have uh, signed on for that. It was my first bill as a congressman ever. Uh, are you going to sponsor legislation soon? Or are you still getting your feet wet? I'm working on a few of them. Balanced budget coming out of the gate. Uh, it's absolutely important that we do that. And also term limits. I told That's people amazing. Uh, that the job you just got, you're trying to pass a bill to make sure you can't stay too long. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm making a lot of friends up here. I'll tell you that. I ran as someone that didn't think that Washington, D.C. should be the institution that it is, and I mean that. I mean what I say. Uh, and there's also a lot of folks here in the Republican Party that agree that we should just this should not be a lifelong endeavor. You should come here, do your job, go back home, and uh, become another productive member of uh, society. Again, that's what I'm here to do. I think you and Daryl Issa and Thomas Massey should party and watch the show one night responsibly, okay. of course, and go into ICE's office, because <laughs> last we checked, he is still the richest member of Congress, and that means something. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, I know Daryl and Tom both, and they're both awesome stand-up dudes, and maybe we'll do the show together. I don't know. At least it's up to you. I think that would be a fantastic bang-up idea. <laughs> Congressman Van Orden, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.